the Prince's Park. And away we go. First bounce. Favors Ashenko. Missed the ball. Well, almost. Stevens crashes in. He's over the top of it. Dragged off it. Another whistle. And a bounce alongside the centre circle. McGrath's got Carey. Normally does well in that battle. There's Stoner. Fairly. Such an honest player for North. And here's the bounce. Brothers. Nishenko, Nishenko gets it down. It spills wide of the pack. Nichols leads in the race. Will it sit for him? Three Geelong players in pursuit. Nichols does well like a base runner going to second. To his feet, pulls it back. Down towards the kickoff line. Longmire's in front. Fisted away by O'Reilly. Taken by Hinckley. Across the goal face. The kick favours King. It runs towards the boundary. Can he keep it in? No, it runs away. Boundary throwing. Good kick then out of defence. David King, pleasant surprise for North Melbourne this season. Thrown in on the outer side, McKernan in front. Brothers over the top, into the path of Paul Couch, but again it runs away. Paul Couch played his 200th game last week and was terrific. So boundary thrown on the outer side. Strong northerly wind here today, so a lot of the play is going to be on that side of the ground. Crothers with McKernan and Couch. Tanner, long hand pass. Geelong with numbers, Hinkley. Kicks across his body. Brewer was the target. He actually went too far with it. Brewer again. Still he goes. Crocker's got him on the shoulder. Too high. Free kick Geelong. This will give us our first real good idea of the breeze. I think it's a bit more than a breeze. It's about a 30 knot wind. The Shenko from behind. Yes, he's paid the mark. Billy Brothers not too happy. He was lucky then. Shenko should have punched. Is it any coaches like that, Terry? You sort of see the big fist? You most definitely would. Uh, there is Shenko backing himself in here with the height. Very lucky, really, but Brown must do the right thing with the front position. Kick to the other side. King from Port Melbourne. And he's quick to left half forward. No mark taken. Ball out of bounds. Good attempt to mark by Allison. The umpire says throw it in. Mind you, Terry, it's hard to send the runner out when they take the mark, isn't it? Well, it is. What do you do? A pass today wearing black armbands in honour of Jeff Crouch, who died yesterday. One of the greats of umpiring. Umpired five grand finals on his own. Schwoss. Market contest at half forward. Now a chance for McGrath to do the tidying up where it gets bumped off it by Allison. Rules apply to Shepard. Holding the ball, says the crowd. The umpire says, no, it's mine. Allison wants to argue the case. So it bounced 35 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Their attacking goal. Up high, Crothers. He used to play basketball. Played a couple of games in the NBL with the Supercats. McGrath. That'll be high. Bairstow will take the free kick at right half back. Mark Bairstow out of side. Long telling kick towards the wing. Hocking can't keep it in. And the throw in. Dennis, some of the key matchups we have Gary Hocking being uh, checked by Blakey. Obviously, Ablett and Martin in the forward line. McGrath and Carey together with Riley and Longmire and Riccardi and Scholl on the wing. McKernan controlled it pretty well. The hand pass gained about 10 metres. Simpson gets back, though. Oh, untidy hand pass over the head of Wills. Opportunity for Mansfield dragged off. It didn't have it. Going to get the free kick. He's been playing very well in recent weeks. Plays on by hand to Wills, across half back, kicks to midfield. Scholl stretches, goes back, takes the mark. Scholl to Schwoss, in space, in the centre square, kicks inside the 50. Carey. He's marked about 40 metres out from goal. Playing his 13th game of the season after what was a stormy start. He makes great position here, being able to get away from Tim McGrath. But the play from the wing with Schwash coming around the back to take the handball and breaking it up was a very, very good move. The Breers will push this one away from goal. It will take a very good kick. It needs to start right. He knows that. It's bending back. It's a beautiful kick. It's a goal. North Melbourne draw first blood. So he did it bend. Did it bend. A very good goal there from Wayne Carey up into what 
what has been a very strong breeze. He's the man who is going to hold a lot of power towards this game, most obviously. He's coming off a defeat, basically, by Tim McGrath in the round five encounter at Cadenia Park, and he'll be very much looking to make amends. Incredible kick. Great goal. We'll put it down as against the wind. Back to the centre. Terrific goal kick by Carey. Geelong swing into attack. Stodham over the top. Tries to paddle it forward. Bearstow and Archer. North Melbourne free kick to Stevens. Stevens to take the free. In his own defensive 50 metre line. Kick outside to the expeditious King. Around Simpson. Did that nicely. Puts it high into the breeze. The ball stands up. Marking contest at half forward. Duncan drag it down. Tanner's hand pass. Past Blakey. Goes along the edge of the square. Picked up by Couch. Tanner in trouble. Now they come away. Couch again from Hinkley. Across the half back line. Allison a juggle. The umpire says no mark play on Bearstow in the thick of things early. Hawking's first touch. Hawking kicks towards right half forward. Brownless and Crocker. Brownless well pinned by Darren Crocker. The hurried hand pass over the boundary line for a throw in 70 metres from goal. So we haven't seen too much of Ablett so far. As the game settles, he's now moving back down towards a full forward and Barry Stoneham floating back out the centre half forward. Yashenko and Brownless. And are taken out by a good hip and shoulder. The ball's out. About 85 metres now around from the Geelong goal. Gusty wind, we've certainly got that. Top of 15, which we're currently enjoying at the moment. The sunshine is pleasant, the wind-making conditions pretty difficult for the players. That was Archer, across his body, maybe out of bounds, maybe on the full. It's out of bounds certainly, but not on the full. Must have just bounced inside. So throw in Martin and Ablitz. What a duel that should be this afternoon. Thrown in at his side. Tanner didn't have the ball. Stevens emerges with it. Fine player goes down towards half forward. He was under pressure when he kicked. And McGrath takes the defensive mark. He's in right half back. The breeze at his back drives it around the outer side. Very high one. Watch Brownless from behind. Up he goes almost the mark. Crocker gets back first. Here's Schwass across half back. High kick. Holds up in the breeze. In front's the place to be. Bearstow. Long kick back towards half forward. Crocker had it knocked away by Brownless. Cast in the role of a defender that time. He played it well. Couch inside the 50. Ablett out of position. Darcy in the pocket. Darcy surrenders some ground. Ablett missed it. Loose ball. Brilliant pick up Smith. On the burst he comes away. Goes towards the outer side. And the mark is held out there by McKernan. McKernan's on the wing. Longmire comes for him. That's the direction the kick takes. Longmire, well played, tried to shield O'Reilly from the ball. They go in pretty solidly, pushing the back, and the free kick will go to Wills. Comes up limping. Sandwich here. That's clever by Longmire. He knows the ball will drop in short. Almost the mark. Mansfield into unexplored territory. Colbert feeds it out wide. On the outer side, the big man Crothers kicks inside the 50. Ashenko goes back. Ablett comes to meet him. Ashenko's got the mark. Big Alex gets the order from the umpire to play on. Fairly. Brownless got him. Couch. Stoneham applies a shepherd. He goes across his body. Long kick. Is it Geelong's first? Yes, it is. It bounces through. Great goal. So the catch it back. Scores little. That Prince's Park. So we were at some 10 minutes into the game and they hadn't, hadn't ventured forward to score the major that they needed to take advantage of the breeze that's blowing here. Big Alex Ashenko doing a very good job across half-back. Made the error there of trying to play on where some safety first would have been far better. But Couch has certainly made him pay with that kick at goal. So scores level at Princess Park or off the oval, depending on which score you go to. Ashenko taps down. Bearstow, looking for possession number five. McKernan is in line for honours in the Norwich Rising Star Award this year. When he says he's already over the line, it'll be too high. Geelong for a kick to, I think it's Simpson under there, it is. Formerly from St Kilda, Simpson to take the free kick at centre-half back. 
Anderson stands the mark. Simpson straight down the ground. Mishenko has been good in defence so far. I haven't seen too much of Stone. I'm fairly in for player this year. That one off the side of the boot, out of bounds on the full Geelong free kick. And Wills is off the ground. We believe it there. The the free kick out there will be taken by Colbert. This is Brewer. Just forward of the wing. Still even up, and that's good news for North going into this breeze. As Schenk goes in front over the top, groundless. Didn't pay off that time. That, that's where the big spoil was definitely needed from Alex Ashenko. Not to mess around inside 50, but have the defensive ploy of being able to spoil wide towards the boundary line. Groundless found some form last week against the Crows. He'll kick from just inside the 50. Distance no problem at all. Accuracy is. Misses to the far side of a high. Geelong lead. Ross Smith to bring it back. Ten minutes gone in this turn. Brownless. A chance to redeem himself. Not impossible even from here. Goes in short. Over the top, well played by Crocker. Got it away from Simpson. Tumbles it towards the outer side. Geelong have got the numbers, but North have got Kieran. Numbers win the day. Hocking centers the ball. Hinkley low down. That's it on the outer side. Back to Hocking. Across the ground. Now North have got the numbers. Three on two. Allison comes away with it. You can't beat those numbers. Untidy hand pass, though. Allison has to go again. Schwartz running alongside. Mansfield got him. Was it a throw or was it in the back? In the back is the call. Allison will get the kick. That midfield for North Melbourne. McGrath and Carey. Oh, good mark. McGrath did everything humanly possible there. Carey, great use of the body and jumps for his second goal. And he should get it from directly in front. Well, what can you say about this guy, Terry, that we haven't said before? He's terrific. He, he's got everything going for him. Uh, you're right there. He claimed the front position, was able to use his, his body to be able to hold Tim McGrath out and then reach in with strong hands, not juggle the ball whatsoever. One take. Well, you'd say he'd kick this after getting one from the boundary line earlier. He scrapes it in for a goal. Straight goals, Geelong 117 points, the difference five points. This has been a very good start by North Melbourne. Uh, here we saw how John Longmire was the, the leader and Wayne Carey was the holder in behind the contest and the longer kick in favoured Carey very much so. North Melbourne working to the breeze with two goals now up. Uh, have done very, very well in the start. Back in the middle is the bounce. Simpson leads in the race. King comes across and slaps it away. Here's Couch. Geelong getting plenty of the ball, but it's not being translated on the scoreboard at the present time. Off hands Brewer. Spins out of trouble almost. Across it comes to Stoneham. Pulls it back. And guess who? Smith, ever reliable. Right on the goal line. Concedes a behind. Wayne Carey, two marks, two kicks, two goals. Very important. And now at the other end, Smith. There when it counted, goes short. Laidley, who's been terrific this season. Dennis Pagan would be very happy at the moment. Looking at the ground, we've got all the traffic down the Geelong end and a lot of space at the North Melbourne end. North Laidley. Melbourne are well structured. Laidley, intelligent kick, close to the boundary line. It's out of bounds and will be thrown in. That's Bill Brownless. At Cadinia Park, last time they met. Geelong home by 15 points. And I think from memory, Ablett got seven that day. Inside the 50, Stoneham, well played, sweeps it out wide. Brownless settles. They need a goal. Great kick. Timing impeccable. Geelong lead by two points. Well, he had a rough trot earlier this year, didn't he, Billy Brownless? In fact, probably Terry would go back further, but he's now coming back to something like his best. He is. Uh, last week he started to return to some form, and even today, so a couple of marks and been involved in some good run. I think it's a good move hunting him out around half forward where he has a little bit of room in which to move around in. Brownless 1-1 against his name. Terrific goal. The catch back in front. Hinkley fumbles. Doesn't often do that. 
but amazingly find some space straight down the centre of the ground. Brewer got two hands to it. Oh, Blakey cut it into by Fairley, but North with the numbers. Ishenko gives it back to him. Fairley, who once won the goal kicking at North Melbourne, strong mark in defence is taken by Lynch, who gives it, gives it off. McGrath, who's conceded two goals. Nice sidestep around Allison. Oh, shocking kick. Could have done better with that one. Riccardi off the ground, nearly out of bounds on the full. It is out of bounds, but it uh, plops over the line. And the first of the injuries, Dipper, what have you got for us? Unfortunately for uh, uh, Young Wills, has a slight hamstring injury and also an ankle injury in the same leg. Well, that's bad luck, because he's been one of the most improved players this year. Schwoss dragged down, couch across his body. The tackle came from Crothers. Fairly runs hard at the ball, Adlet, still he goes, brushes one, brushes two. That's his first real kick for the day, and the mark in front is there. Billy again. But a great kick. I mean, to be able to drag it round so far and put it in the perfect position right in front of goal for Brownless to mark. Great play, Gary Adler. And Terry, this matchup is hurting North Melbourne at the present time. They can't quite match up with Brownless. No, they can't. I mean, his height and his athleticism is really stretching now. Darren Crocker's there with his job just at the yeah. moment. He's got the goal, it's his second. Brownless 2-1, Carey two goals. The two superstars are there, but the one they all came to see, Gary Adler, no goals yet. But early days, the difference, eight points. But I'm, but I'm sure Malcolm Blight is not concerned by that. Uh, last week it was Tim Darcy who took advantage of the attention given to Gary Ablett by uh, Nigel Smart and the rest of the Adelaide defence. Now this week it may well be Bill Brownless who comes in to, to take advantage of the heat being off the other forwards in the Geelong side. 7.45 to go till quarter time, and Geelong lead by eight points. They're kicking with a strong breeze. Venture to say worth three or four goals, but of course there's the prospect of rain later, so if you've got a lead, you've got to be content with that. But North Melbourne, on balance, doing very well here. This is Simpson out of the middle, down towards half forward. Stoneham's in front, pissed away by Fairley. Socket off the ground by Stoneham. All North Melbourne, Laidley gets a shepherd. Close to the boundary line, Dean Laidley. Kept it in, just wide of Riccardi. Backing him up his couch. Great evasion by Paul Couch. The hand pass not particularly good. Brewer got it back from Riccardi. 60 metres out from goal. Heard the voice from Couch and got it back to him. It's bending back. Close to the goal line, off hands and a minor score. Smith was there again. 7-2 for Paul Couch. He's been good. Smith wasting no time. Looking for Scholl. Oh, that is a terrific mark. Upended by Simpson and somehow juggled the ball. Scholl's kick not particularly good. Brothers has to work. Rock knocked it away. Mansfield wide of the pack, but it's going to be a free kick, I think, to Carey. Pushed in the back. Carey on the wing. Longmire makes his move. Probing kick. The worst place for it as far as Longmire was concerned. Behind him into the pocket. And O'Reilly runs it towards the boundary. Still O'Reilly. Well played, O'Reilly. Gets the hand pass off. Having to wait on the outer side. Hocking knocked it on. Bairstow was pushed in the back. And he'll get the free kick. Bairstow and Couch creating damage midfield. <coughs> and Mark Bairstow at right half back to take the free kick. Good crowd in attendance today. As Dennis said, the prospect of rain. But I think that's well off at the moment. Sunshine is pleasant. Very cold last weekend. North with the numbers, Ashenko punches down, Tanner, quick hand pass, Simpson dragged off it, kick off the ground, comes out to the edge of the square, Schwoss, former Morrish medalist, kicks to half forward, courage from Riccardi, Carey, King, straight in front goes at goal, and the goal umpire indicates a minor score. So North Melbourne, registering its first behind, kicked by David King, 2-1 to 3-3. Geelong in front, but as we've said, with this breeze, which is pretty strong, blowing to the opposite uh, pocket. Very strong from the, the, uh, the northwest. O'Reilly. McKernan in front, couldn't mark. Hocking does well in front of Allison. Long looping hand pass. Bearstow takes it from Colbert. Now the Cats can build on this. Brewer takes it inside 50, goes it going. Showing a bit of bite, 
Shane Brewer gets his first and Geelong's fourth. Geelong leading 4-3 to 2-1. And the two and the two midfielders here that have been the most damaging players in Paul Couch and Mark Bairstow. Couch with some ten possessions at this stage. Bairstow with six. They've been most dominant in there and their immediate players, uh, opponents at Wayne Schwoss is matched to Couch. And we have Stevens with Bairstow. Very gifted player is Shane Brewer. Fine finisher. Ashenko goes up and gets it down. Bairstow tackled strongly by Stevens. Out of the middle, North work it down towards their half forward line in front of McGrath. Bouchol who booted it down there, but McGrath gets twice the distance going back. Laidley hacks it out of mid-air, but a free kick is going North's way, and Crocker will get it. Darren Crocker, fearless player, from half-back through midfield. Allison in front, over the top, Mansfield, almost a clever mark. Still he goes, had it knocked away. Nichols didn't have it. Schwoss came out very quickly. Carey, with courage, attacked that one. Tanner. Quick hands, here's Hocking on the wing, goes to Couch, will it sit for him? Needs a shepherd from Stoneham, well not quite, and as a result Blakey's got it, to Fairley, confronted by Hocking, and Fairley played it well, found the boundary line. Having a great season, there's Fairley, unspectacular, but you'd say very effective, sports begots today in this match, north the favourites. Wouldn't argue with that. Stoneham hasn't been able to get into the play much so far. McCurdan beats him to it. Loose ball off the hands of the pack and again out of bounds. And North Melbourne making about five metres. The throw in this time on the true centre wing position with four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Great game of footy so far. We expected nothing less. Stoneham wins it. Hocking might have been taken high, but a good tackle by Archer. Now Couch again, kick number eight. Bounces to half forward. Stevens fairly spins out. Tackled by Riccardi, ineffective. And the mark taken by McKernan. And yes, he did think about going off. And he thought about it. An awkward looking kick. Not really to the advantage of his side. Mansfield, a true attacking defender from half back. Good kick with the breeze. Well inside 50. Brown is in front. Ashenko at the back. And he's been paid the mark. Doing a sort of a Gary Dempsey job down there at the moment. And Colbert tries to punch. Sorry, Peter. Clarkson has just come onto the ground there for Allison going off. Mansfield went at the ball there with Gusto. A flip on. Riccardi didn't bounce kindly for him. And taken over the boundary line by Clarkson. And Peter, all that's revolving around Paul Couch at the moment. Wayne Schwash just cannot do the job on Couch. Clarkson has come on to do that. Schwash going to half forward. Allison off. Eight and threes had poor Couch, a terrific quarter by him. Kick away by Shane Crothers. Well inside 50. Ashenko again, big fist likewise. Stoneham, Ablett grabbed by Martin, didn't have it, free kick. So Gary Ablett, a chance for his first goal. He needs two for the magical 100. If he kicks this goal, it will be his 800th for Geelong. Yeah, definitely a free kick. The ball had been spilt free in the tackle and uh, it was continued on with by Mark. Distance shouldn't be a problem for the champ. He kicks and he has missed. He's kicked one behind Gary Ablett. So a bit of an anti-climax from that one. His first score of the day. Allison sits the bench. And uh, I think that's the haircut of Anthony Rock behind him. Scholl, awkward half volley, heads for the boundary line and gets it across. Craig Scholl, who played his 100th game a couple of weeks back against the Saints. Very good player, former best and fairest winner. Thrown in on the outer side, Ashenko knocks it forward. Stevens, as always, put his body on the line, working hard in that pack, tries to knock it out. We've got a whistle. Couch goes down. will get the free kick, so Stevens playing the removalist there, put the couch down, but now he's been penalised. So couch from just inside the 50. This will be an interesting kick. He's a left footer, and the breeze will help this. Paul Couch, a thinking footballer, tries to pull it back, but it comes too soon. 
get in the behind. And probably there, Terry, the breeze gets to the drop of the ball. That's the tough part. It does. A very difficult position out there is the, the breeze is blowing directly in towards the scoreboard and you, you need to be able to pull it out and control it in what is a more open area at that end of the ground than at the other where the grandstands do give some degree of protection. Smith towards the outer side. Bairstow in the thick of it. Crashing in with Scholl. Stevens trying to go through. And a free kick to North. And it gets a little ill-tempered out there. Meantime, North want to go. This is Laidley. Dean Laidley from half back kicks off one step. Not necessarily good policy. Big pack in the fall of the ball. Here's Rock back on the ground, pushed in the back. He'll get the free kick inside the centre square. So we've got just over a minute and a half till quarter time. And the margin is 16 points. Down towards the kickoff line. It goes long by always up. Barnett picks it up off hand, snaps and kicks a goal. That's a big goal in the context of the first term. And North Melbourne now 10 points off the pace. A very important goal there. Young John Barnett coming onto the ground off the interchange bench, uh, returning for his third game for the season. And a former Hawthorne player uh, had actually played Foster's Cup with the Hawthorne Football Club before coming over to North Melbourne. And the, the mobility of the small players has been valuable. Ten points of the difference, a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. It's been a great quarter of footy. Couch looking for kick number nine, and he'll get it. He's been terrific in the first term. Martin, one hand to it. Blakey written into the ground by Hocking. Nothing for it from the umpire. Fairly a quick kick. Now Bairstow should kick a goal. Lightning hand pass. Got it to him and he's kicked it. Geelong hit back. It took them just on half a minute. 5-5 five, five to 3-1 was a minute to go in the first turn. Great footy, the Cats. A very quick reply and uh, just the one that North Melbourne didn't want with the quarter ticking down. And as again, these players in the midfield, it's Couch, it's Bairstow running on hard down the ground. And his ability to be able to be that player who goes all the way is very damaging. So back to the centre. Just on a minute to go now in the turn. King, Stodham, King find their chance to pick it up, which he does, gets it to Schwoss. He's pinned, good tackle, Brewer. And the only solution there is to bounce it. With 45 seconds still to go. The clock ticks down. In fact, it was brought up recently. Some coaches looking for time on to be added in an instance like this, which is probably a good thought. No doubt about that. Just inside the 50, they compete. Off hands, Colbert. No one in particular, Laidley, who was taken hard. Fair enough, too. He was the man who went after that ball. It was there for about four of them. Laidley wanted it most. Across the ground he goes. Blakey peels off half back, runs up towards the middle. Long kick towards half forward. Five seconds to go in the turn. Longmire got a hand to it. Rock on the burst. I think the siren will beat him. Now, this will be an interesting one. The umpire says the ball was in flight. No mark. No. End of the term. So quarter time at Prince's Park. Entertaining stuff. Both sides playing like their lives depended on it. And in many ways they do. Geelong a 5-5, North Melbourne a 3-1. Well, very strong. Now North to run with it. 35 to 19. They've been close all afternoon. Although Couch has generally got the ball. Ashenko goes up and thumps it. Down towards half forward for North Melbourne. Nichols. About 48 metres out, was bumped in the back, according to the umpire. Is it Barnett? It's Barnett who's going to get the free. And he has a chance to score from here. He's already kicked one. Came on late in the opening turn. The kick from right on the 50. Has it got the carry? Yes, it has, but not the direction. So behind, John Barnett. 3-2 plays 5-5. Opening seconds of the second term. Here's O'Reilly. Boots it towards the outer side half-back flank. In front, Hinckley. No mark. Stevens digs it out, but straight to Bearstow. Bearstow drives around the outer side. Laidley in front out there, close to the line. Keeps it in. 
Dean Laidley goes down towards half forward and Rock will have to stretch. Didn't mark it. Pitched in front of him and again after it struck him and across the boundary line. A real hamstring stretch of that one. So boundary throw in right half forward for North Melbourne with the breeze this quarter. Crothers and McCurden. McCurden did better in the first quarter. Empire will bounce it right on 50. Hocking pinned, but the umpire said no chance of getting rid of it. Six possessions for him in the first quarter, Gary Hocking. Not Geelong's prime movers. McCurden, 15 to 5 with the hit outs in the first quarter. Bearstow, nine possessions for him now. Ashinko. And cast in that role, doing a good job. Archer, plenty of room for him at half back as the sun goes behind a large cloud. Tanner, who could probably very soon get the nickname Roscoe. Hocking. Hocking on right centre wing. Right of the CUB emblem. Stoneham, haven't seen much of him today. Appears to be wearing that padding. Brewer on his uh, sternum couch. Funny old hand pass. Stand back, there's Alex Basto. Missed him, got the ball, missed the goals. Out of bounds on the full. So free kick to North Melbourne in the right back pocket. It's going to be taken by Ross Smith, I think, yes. Still Ablett goalless. And they had two kicks. One resulted in a goal, but he didn't kick it. Strong attempt to mark by McKernan. Rock gives it to Shaw. Not the greatest of hand passes. I dare say he'll deliver this afternoon. Holding the ball. Yes, good decision. Uh, made no attempt to get rid of the ball there, young Colbert, and taken very cleanly by Shaw. Shaw with a free kick at right half back. Goes for distance down towards half forward. Carey propped in front. That's a terrific grab. Wayne Carey has put a two of three goals so far for North. Pops it inside the 50. Longmire comes on the lead close to the line. O'Reilly in close attendance. Dropping the ball, says the umpire. Play on now. Hocking feeds it back. Brothers goes around the outer side towards the wing. In from the side lately. Loose ball. He mops up. Scholl's hand pass knocked down by Brownless. Well played by Billy. Kicks inside the 50, but ill-directed. Had more time, although luckily for Geelong, it bounces away from big Alex Ushenko and will be thrown in right on the 50. Geelong a 5-5. North Melbourne a 3-2. Early going second term at Prince's Park. Stoneham. And Ashenko. Stoneham playing only his seventh game of the season. Missed the ball. Ashenko got it to Stevens to midfield. Allison. Normally a good kick, Allison. Swings it out wide. Carey on the lead. Protected the ball very well. About 60 metres from goal. Goes for home. It looks good. Tremendous piece of play there from North Melbourne. They knew that from that far outer side, the ball had to be brought over to what is the member side here at Princess Park. And Carey knew they were coming that way and led very strong and hard. The call was made with the aid of the breeze to go long. He did. He's the key man in the game at the moment. Tim McGrath is caught here in a big battle. Carey's third from inside the square. One of the goals of the week. Terrific stuff from the North Melbourne captain, Tanner. Gives Geelong a chance to half forward. Stoneham out bustled by Fairley. Archer to Crocker. Crocker across the ground. Again, they bring it to the attacking side. Good mark in front of Simpson taken by Anderson. Well, this is the way they're going to attack. Carey again, this time caught behind. Couldn't take the mark. Schwoss. Schwoss from left half forward across his body. Good kick. One on one duel. Longmire has a punched away, good defence by O'Reilly, ball out of bounds, left forward pocket. But on the attacking side for North Melbourne. The scoreboard showing North Melbourne 4-2, Geelong 5-5. So a difference of nine points still in favour of Geelong. Ablett goalless so far, chasing the tut. Knocked down by Crothers. Barnett went without it. Now it's Bearstow. Hocking's charts. Funny old kick, but OK, Simpson. Gets clear of King. Real up and under job. Important possession here. And Scholl takes the mark. 
Shaw from midfield will go long. McCurden out bustled. <coughs> Colbert O'Reilly were there. And the throw in this time right in front of the main scoreboard here at Princess Park. Wind very, very strong for the northwest. On the defensive side, as it were, Crothers and McCurden. Crothers this time looks for a hand pass intended for uh, Tanner, possibly. Mansfield goes down. And it's all tied up. We will see a bounce. Just over 15 minutes till half time. Barnett has kicked a goal. Here's the bounce. North's attacking zone. Tanner, nicely done. Got it up to Bearstow. Bearstow brings it out towards half forward. Brownless in front. Juggled attempt. It fell behind. Archer didn't have the ball. No free kick. Simpson with his wrong foot inside the fifth. The awkward kick as a result. Up comes Adler. Confronting him was Laidley. Brewer again, who's been handy. Didn't get away that time. Archer got him down. Lyshenko's over the ball. Laidley in trouble. Met solidly by Adler. Laidley's going to get a free kick. Two feisty customers there. Oh, he reverses. Well, Laidley's gone for the sleeper hold, and I think they'll take it off him. Well, Gary Ablett will long remember goal 99 if he kicks this. Gave away a free kick and suddenly had it reversed. And now from 10 metres out, should score. Dean's not happy. on the record at Cadinia Park, held, of course, by Doug Wade. More importantly, the Cats lead by 15 points. It's 41 to 26. And there's uh, Dean Laidley uh, being a little bit rough in his uh, disposing of Gary Ablett off the mark. And uh, I think Gary may have given the ball back fairly solidly into the midriff of uh, Dean Laidley initially. Quite right, Terry. So back to the centre. Ablett with his first goal, needs one for the tonne. Things getting a little willing out there in the middle. Laidley again goes in solidly. Crutters behind him. Barnett, good hand pass. In fact, it was a little bit too severe. It was a throw. So Lynch to take the free kick at centre half back. Hinkley in the hands of the trainers. Doesn't look too good. Lynch from his own defensive 50 metre line. Mark taken by Colbert. Colbert at left centre wing and Ken Hinkley caught one on the ice, I suppose, I think. Oh, good mark, Archer. Yes. Terrific grab. Very important player to this North Melbourne side is Glenn Archer. Can play at any end of the ground. And uh, is a very vigorous customer. Carey. A little flip out. Laidley again. King, who's got pace to burn, stretches on the ground. Play should be stopped. It's coming over for Hinkley, I believe. But still it continues. The kick is up towards half forward. And the mark again for Geelong, taken by Paul Lynch. And I think play will stop now. Very strange piece of the move there from the Geelong medical staff. Ken Hinkley was up, he was actually walking, and uh, I don't know whether they asked him to sit down again or not, or he's uh, been from under him. Yes, interesting. Stop the play. It's on your opponent's forward line. I think Campbell in that uh, little changeover came on for North, did he? He did. Dean Laidley was taken off uh, as to whether it was a, a disappointing move by Dennis Pagan. Um, I think he may have been a little bit harsh on his player if that was the case. He's uh, probably got a broken nose. Laidley on the boundary line, seeking refreshment. Probably got an earful. And he's coming back on. So that's what it was. Dennis Payton has taken the opportunity to speak directly to his player and uh, ensure that he is in total control of this game. Very good coaching, Dennis. I didn't see what happened, Hinkley, I must admit. Well, obviously, met fairly severely. And he'll be a sad blow because... Great skills across the half back line. So Hinkley off the ground. We hope he's okay and play restarts. 
short pass comes into the center square area taken by Bearstow. He got it from Lynch. Plenty of emotion in this game as Bearstow goes down towards half forward and the mark is held by Mansfield. A belated spoil came from Allison. And that's the best we can say about it. Just a little reminder that, that he was behind him, I think. Oof. So Mansfield about 55 metres from goal. Dean Laidley about 10 metres off the ball is charged up. Mansfield goes in short. Ablett comes on the lead. Missed the mark. Chance for Tudor. Confronted by Schwoz. Pushed off the ball. Watch out. Ablett goes crashing into the pack. Schwoz comes away with it. Puts it back towards the wing. McKernan in front. And that's a very good mark with the hands. They wrestle on the ground. The two youngsters, Colbert and McKernan. McKernan's got the footy. Some dexterity there gets around Colbert. The kick not particularly good. They'll need to go here. Brothers had it bounce off his chest. Taken by Bairstow on the wing. Clever kick for the line. Gained about 15 metres. They're playing for keeps at the moment. Geelong is 6-5. North Melbourne are 4-2. North Melbourne have got the breeze. 12 more minutes with it till half time. McKernan in front. Brothers tried to knock it away. McKernan knocked it forward. Taken by Bearstow. Mansfield shrugs a tackle, arches the back, gets away. Campbell took him front on. Ball jarred free. Tudor's got problems. Down he went. Campbell somehow moved the ball to Stevens. Stevens on the wing. High kick to half forward. Longmire. Almost the one-hander. Still he battles. Loose ball. O'Reilly's got it, but a free kick, I think, is coming back to Longmire who was held without it according to the umpire who was just 10 metres away. Yes, the umpire was in very good position to adjudicate on the first free kick that, and they're allowed to play on, but after the slip to the ground, Longmire trying to move away, Tim McGrath grabbing around the ankle. John Longmire, 25 goals in his last five games, finding form, kicks from 40, Amir Bagatelle. Straight through the middle. North creep closer. Dean Laidley still uh, remonstrating with the umpire. I think he's got a lot on his chest just at the moment, Dean Laidley, and I think the advice would be to get back onto the job and ensure that your side remains pushing itself right back into this game. Longmire, a tremendous full forward and very rarely misses. Uh, a very good find in the North Melbourne side there. 32 plays 41 in favour of Geelong now. Longmire getting the goal with few problems. Biesto, best on the ground performance from him so far. The bouncing ball into space, left half forward for North Melbourne. And Tanner, I think it was Tanner, yes it is Tanner. Well and truly bumped off it. Dipper brings us up to date with the injuries. Yeah, unfortunately for Ken Hingley, he's got a, uh, a bruised nose there, Rod Pete. Looked a little bit worse than bruised, Dipper. <laughs> Couch and Schwoss, stalemate, bounce. Poor Couch, 14 possessions so far. And Mark Bester, 10 and 6. Kenny Hinckley on the boundary line, probably going for some ice. I reckon he'll be back. Yes, he should be. He shouldn't be off. Well, Crothers might have given away a free kick. No, umpire says OK. Mansfield, little hand pass over the top. Sold his captain into trouble there. Mark Bester, that was hot. And another Geelong player down. That's uh, Couch. I didn't see what happened to him. And he's limping. That's uh, about 10 metres off the ball. Can't comment on what we didn't see, though. Allison, long hand pass. It's out of bounds. Holding his head, poor Couch, but he's pretty tough. From uh, the boy from Boggy Creek. He put that on the map when he won the brown line. So boundary throw in. One by Crothers, Archer, across Riccardi, kicks to half forward, Longmire and O'Reilly, McGrath in front of Carey, Barnett came at him, a chance for the Cats to get clear, they do through Lynch. This is Simpson, just forward of half back, 41 plays 32, Geelong lead, the kick towards half forward, Lushenko goes up, missed it, Stoneham like a rover, concedes some ground, gets it back to Tanner, beats one man, Kicks intended for the middle. It fell in short and Brownless got to the hole. Bill Brownless, about 60 metres from goal. Too far out to score, even for him. Darcy, who's been quiet, offers a lead. Ablett is back in the square. 
Martin is very Ablett conscious. Mashenko is back with him. High kick. Ablett outnumbered. Trying to work off Mashenko. Martin ran directly at Ablett. They both fell over. Mashenko clears the zone. Mansfield will pump it back in. 60 metres from goal. Ablett and Martin wrestle again. Whistle goes. Martin will get a free. Ablett perched on 99. Martin's got the footy. Plays on quickly. Crocker runs it out. Carries the ball up towards half back. Settles now. Kicks for distance. Not a particularly good kick. Carey kept out of the contest by a propping Hocking who gives it across towards support and Riccardi. Brewer's got it forward at the wing. Couch wants it short. That's the direction oh. the kick takes. Well, sort of. And it bounces out of bounds. I'm sure it was intended for Couch, but well wide of the mark. How about 10 metres wide of the mark? So it's... 40 metres from the Geelong goal. Ablett stuck on 99, the nervous 90s. Ishenko and Stodem, the matter very quiet. Lately, anything but. Ball flipped out the couch on a Brewer. Goes with his right foot at goal. And one behind only. One goal, one against his name. And three other Geelong players, or two others, have also kicked 1-1. One, one. Couch and also Ablett. Beastow has got one goal as well. Billy Brown this has two. Ross Smith to kick in. Eight and a half minutes left in the half. Excellent crowd at Optus Oval today. Smith to the outer side, predictably. Oh, shocker. Absolute shocker. Out of bounds on the full. Brownless to kick it back. Well, Ross Smith really makes a mistake like that. We'll put it down to the breeze. He's going to have to do that again too, Billy. That's an incredible mistake from Ross Smith, isn't it? I mean, so a player of his calibre and uh, the way he goes about his work very rarely makes mistakes. So people can make, have mess-ups. So Brownless thought about going short. Excellent mark taken by the man who kicked five goals last week, Tim Darcy. A veteran, Adler, on a lead. And marks! Now, is this going to be 100? Distance shouldn't be a problem. The wind and the man on the mark might be. And security guards and police come from everywhere. I don't think they'll keep the crowd back if he uh, manages to kick it. He's already kicked his 800th goal for Geelong with his first this afternoon. From 40 metres out, I think he's missed. One behind. goal two to the champ six seven to five two see if you can get it then smith kicks in towards the other side that's a massive kick almost to the wing archer wants to go but the ball is coming back mckernan getting a free kick corey mckernan kicks long towards center half forward carey up he goes but in front mansfield terrific effort Tries to go to Couch, favoured by the bounce. He's outnumbered Paul Couch, hasn't got the ball. He'll get the free, played it very well. Not a strong tackle, but enough to impede him. Goes down towards half forward. The other dangerous Brewer. Ooh. He almost turned around at just the wrong moment. He's got this ball about 45 metres from goal. Dummy lead from Ablett. He goes back to the square. Brewer. Good looking effort from here. Hits the post near the top. Very skillful player. He was sheltered by the stand and backed himself there. 6 8 5 2. Just over seven minutes till half time, and Geelong holding the line very well now. Long kick again to the outer side. Loose ball. Barnett looking for support. Sold Scholl into trouble. Down he went. Simpson got him. Simpson falling. Got it across to Lynch. Spears it into Darcy. Darcy 60 metres from goal. Ablett wants it deep. I doubt Darcy can go that far. Instead, he centres the ball. Stoneham could have been Great held. Kick. Stoneham will get the free. Directly in front, he'll kick from about 45. It'll be touch and go, I'd suggest, from here. Again, taking the front position and uh, has the physical stature to be able to hold him fairly out. Well positioned there. A study and concentration, Barry Stoneham. Normally a good kick. The breeze grabs it. It falls virtually straight down. Ashenko knocked it. Brewer's got it. Wished he hadn't. 
He slung, and across the line it goes. In fact, it's going to be a free, I think, to North. No score. Crocker in that pack will get the free. Darren Crocker started on Billy Brownless. We cut him up a bit in the first quarter. McCurdon, good mark. One of the finds of 1994, Corey McCurdon. Hands almost as big as Stewie Lowe. Rock in front, Mansfield too tall, couldn't complete the mark. Nichols slung off it. Kick well inside 50, Geelong with the numbers. Barnett's there, so is McGrath. The two number 17s and the former Morris medalist succeeds in getting it over the boundary line. In the forward pocket, 30 metres from goal. North Melbourne's attacking zone. The Roos trailing at the moment 5-2 to 6-8, a difference of two goals. As the clock ticks down, five and a half minutes to half time. Hocking, well tackled by Carey. Archer tries to burst his way through, unsuccessfully. Ooh, Carey and Hocking. Thank you. Not happy with Solid. each other just at the moment. No. So, play continues. Blakey, Schwoss, a snap. He's missed, he's kicked only a behind. And Wayne Schwoss's first score of the afternoon. 6-8 to 5-3 now. And the difference is 11 points. North Melbourne haven't taken advantage of this breeze with only two goals so far this quarter with it. O'Reilly to the defensive side. Ishenko in the box seat. Couldn't take the mark. Scholl back to Schwoss again. Long kick, Longmire, Mansfield, Archer. Ball beats all of them over the boundary line for a throw in. So the Cats manning up well in defence, but still plenty of time for the North Melbourne side to get a couple more goals before half time. Crubbers doing well. Riccardi, Bairstow, who's been terrific. A cross goal, arguably dangerous. Tudor takes it over the line in front of O'Reilly for a throw in but still only about 20 metres from goal. The wind is really starting to squall up now and it's going to make conditions even more difficult as the afternoon goes on for the forwards to mark the ball and even convert opportunities that come their way. Ball up coming up after the throw in. Four and a half minutes till half time. Six, eight, five, three. Two committed teams this afternoon. It's been terrific. McKernan up very high. Down went Cole, but didn't have the ball. Hocking. Thought about his second bounce. He'll need to kick now. He does. Back towards midfield. Brewers in front. Fisted away by Laidley. Simpson leads back. Tanner comes to meet it. Well played. Bairstow, who's been superb through the middle, took it off Tudor. Kicks towards half forward. And the mark to stand. The umpire had a perfect angle on that one. Bairstow down Dan behind play. Hit, hit his head as he was taken down in that tackle. His head really bounced when he hit that cricket pitch area. Yeah, not the place to do it. Meantime, Brownless has got the ball. Kicked two goals in the opening term. Can he do what Steinem couldn't from the 50? Normally a better kick than Steinem. Again, it hangs in the air, this time missing to the left-hand side. So he got the distance. Lacked the accuracy. Bearstow seems to be okay. 18 possessions to Mark Bearstow. Smith, short to Schwoss, who struggled for kicks. He's in the back pocket. Goes for length around the outer side. Taylor made for Geelong. Any one of about three they queued up. Brothers knocks it on, taken by Colbert. Away to Simpson, too slow. Well, he got it away, back to Colbert. Tumbles a kick down towards full forward, fairly. That was a clever mark. It wasn't a good kick. Awkward spinning ball and fairly made it look easy. Comes back to the members side. Tudor goes over the top of Allison and gets it out of bounds. Good punch, wasn't it? So three minutes before half time. Time running out for North with the wind and for Gary Adlett to get his goal in this quarter for his 100th. Still 12 points the margin. Tackle applied by Tudor. Stone and missed it. Could have given away a free kick. He has. Fairly to Laidley. Laidley from left half back. Kick up towards midfield. Mansfield the flyer. Scholl at the fall of the ball. Read the punch well. Barnett overruns it. Applies a tackle. Lynch flips it out in front. That was Nichols dispossessed. Tanner 
Barnett knocks it further forward. Saw some North Melbourne jumpers, but not enough. And the man of the match is going to come away with it again. He's got a hard head, obviously. Goes for the boundary line. Allison, though, has kept it in. Well played. Allison takes the hand pass back for Longmire. Still he goes. He loves kicking goals. Allison from left half forward. Centering kick. It's a wrestle. Carroll! And that's not easy to do. This is an incredible contest. Look at the two boys really pushing on each other and Carey with the superior strength on that occasion. Great stuff. For his fourth point blank range, only the wind can stop him. He's got that behind him. He kicks the goal. Leading goal kicker in the match with a minute and a half to go before half time, and it's a kick the difference 6 3 to 6 9. This is an incredible contest here between these two players. Tim McGrath has not been uh, disgraced whatsoever so far, and I think Steve Crediel found the same experience last Friday night against Wayne Carey that he is a valuable player, and given the opportunities, he can really hammer them home. He's, he is the man at the moment. There's the time remaining in the margin now, just six points. Marvellous mark by Carey to set up his fourth goal. He's taken five this afternoon. He's put at four goals, as I say. O'Reilly goes towards the outer side. Scholl knocked it away. Hocking, well played. They work it nicely. Couch around the outer side. Goes down towards half forward with a kick. But he was under pressure, and he put it out of bounds on the full. Simpson and gave it to Couch, up rather gingerly on the outer side wing. And Hinkley warming up, ready to come back on it, would appear, Dennis. Good news for the Cats. Here's Crocker, meantime. High kick towards half forward. Big, ugly pack at the fall of that one. No mark taken. Hocking tidies up behind. Wadley tried to smother it. Bad luck for him. It went behind, but Ashenko on the assist. Allison back to Wadley. Laidley swings it out wide, Longmire's in front, timely fist from O'Reilly, Brownless, can he control it? Brownless surrounded, the hand pass not particularly good, Longmire, well done, trapped it nicely, the hand pass too slick, Clarkson couldn't control it, in goes O'Reilly, knocked away by Crocker, taken by Brownless, claimed by Allison, Brewer's hand pass was good. Bearstow confronted by Schwartz, comes behind, picked up by Crocker. Crocker goes to the middle, McKernan. Well, he was in his slide before the ball arrived. On his knees, down went Nichols. He's played holding the ball. Gee, that was a great whistle. Oh. A, a great passage of play. All players tremendously committed in at the ball. Tackling pressure. And only a few seconds for a score. Riccardi kicks the half forward. Simpson, will he give it to Couch? Yes, he will. A high kick at a mark, and they might do it. He goes long. Where's the great man? He's out bustled by Mickey Martin as the siren goes for half time. Adlet still stuck on 99, but importantly for Javon, they lead by a goal. The Cats 6 9 45, North Melbourne 6 3 39.